planner friends it's about time that i get my life together one planner spread at a time <laughs> so last week i actually made a planner spread and i was using my planner a little bit didn't stick to it that well but that's okay um i'm making progress i'm getting you know i'm getting back on the wagon because i have literally fallen off of every wagon possible actually i think i've ran every wagon in my life into the ditch <laughs> it's been a hot mess express over my way but that's okay I want to walk you guys through my process of getting myself back on track, back on track with planning because I have not been planning consistently for months now. So getting myself back on track with that, getting myself back on track with health and fitness and nutrition and losing weight and, you know, gaining muscle and those, those types of goals, getting myself back on track with social media, with posting here on YouTube, with Instagram, like I just have to get started. I think the hardest part for me is that I let it get so behind with everything that I feel so overwhelmed and then I don't want to plan or I don't want to sit down and do it and then it's just this negative cycle, right? And I've talked about that before, but my biggest tip is just sit down and get started. You know, turn on some music, get you some iced coffee, start writing things down, start planning things out. So here to start this whole getting my life together process, I went into last week's spread and I... Uh, started to fill in some of it. I don't really know why I back plan like this, but sometimes it's nice to just have a completed spread whenever you've fallen off track. So kind of doing a little bit of back, back planning, not much. And then I started to fill out my fitness planner. I have to take this thing with me everywhere I go. Like I'm going, to, I'm going to have to. I have been so bad about that. I, I switched over into this planner because it gives me more room than using the mini planner for fitness. And I had intentions of taking it with me, but I haven't. And so I'm going to have to set it by my door or just leave it in my backpack. Like it has to go with me. So I'm writing these things down because here I had to journal a little bit about being at work and I don't know what the heck I ate type deal. But this also made me realize I needed to work on my morning and evening routine. And this is where I'm mapping that process out. So get me a sheet of paper, blank sheet of paper. And I'm going to write out my morning routine and my evening routine. Now, with my morning routine, it's I need two separate routines. So I'll have my routine that I do whenever I'm going to work and my routine on my days off. Initially, I was going to plan on working out, you know, on the days I go to work, but I decided not to because I will still have four other days during the week to focus on exercise. The biggest thing that I need to focus on whenever I'm at work is having my meals there with me prepped, ready to go, right? So you guys will see, it'll get kind of fast here in just a second and it speeds up some, but initially I was going to do a morning routine where I wake up and do my workout, but I, I changed that. I know I'm not gonna stick to that. What's more important is that I focus on packing my lunch for the day. So here we go, we have morning routine, evening routine, I've got my my work morning routine and my days off morning routine. So for work, here's the plan. I kind of did a little brainstorm over here of all the things that I wanted to do. Don't make your morning super complicated. Just because I'm brainstorming all these things does not mean that they're going to be implemented into my morning routine. But I need to get up at 5 a.m. I need to, um, once I wake up at 5 a.m., hold on, let me slow down here for a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. I was about to tell you when I need to leave for work, but we're not there yet. So get up at 5, at 5.15. I want to sit down at my desk, write down my goals, gratitude, and review my plans for the day. At, um, and that'll be from like 5.15 to 5.30. From 5.30 to 6, I'll get ready. And from 6 to about 6.15, 6.20, I can eat breakfast, and pack my lunch for the day. So making sure that I'm packing healthy meals to take with me. So that's that one. Um, and then for my days off of work, my morning routine is to get up at 6 in the morning. So not quite as early, but still want to get up kind of early, get my day started off right. Um, at 6.15, I want to have my start drinking my pre-workout while I am reviewing my plans for the day, writing down my goals and my gratitude. At 6.30 in the mornings, I want to do my workout. And then at 7, 7.15, I can hop in the shower. And then depending on what day of the week it is, I'm getting my son up ready for school or it's the weekend and, you know, he gets to sleep in, whatever. So that's kind of a highlight of my morning routine. And again, here I'm just kind of writing these things down, brainstorming these things, looking at, it, looking at them um, from different perspectives. So work days, days off, evening routines. Now my evening routine can be the same regardless. 
Um, evening routine is to review the day. How did the day go? You know, what can I do better tomorrow? What do I need to work on tomorrow? What do I need to focus on tomorrow? What is my to-do list for tomorrow? What is my priorities for tomorrow? Um, so it's kind of reviewing the day and seeing what I need to do the next day. It is prepping for the next day. So prepping for myself for the next day. Do I need to, you know, is the next day a workout day? Like a day off from work and I, I'm going to do my workout so I need to lay out my clothes and get my stuff ready. Or is the next day a day that I work where I need to get my scrubs ready and that kind of thing. Also prepping for the next day for my son. Is it a school day? Do we need to have his backpack and clothes laid out, lunch ready? Like all of those things, right? Um, and then I also want to read before bed and no phone. I have been so bad, you guys. So bad. So, and many of you guys can probably relate to this. When I am overwhelmed, I end up spending hours on my phone, which then makes the overwhelm greater, right? I mean, you guys know this. That's this the cycle that I talk about, this vicious cycle that we all get trapped in. And one of the things that I know that helps me tremendously is to put my phone down. <laughs> I will literally put it down. I will plug it in somewhere and walk away from it. And I am so much more productive and focused and energized throughout the day. If I sit down on the couch, you know, with my phone, next thing you know, I'm three hours in on TikTok wondering what the heck just happened. Or I end up staring at my phone for so long that I get sleepy and then I take a two hour nap. So it's just a cycle that we're trying to break. Again, working on getting my life together here. So again, this part, just, just trying to hash out the plans of my morning and evening routine. All right, this is the fun part. I talk about pre-planning all the time. I love to pre-plan. Pre-plan makes me happy. Pre-planning is how I get everything out of my brain onto a sheet of paper where I can be messy, I can move things around, I can figure out what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. So one of the first things that I like to do whenever I pre-plan is I throw out my work schedule because um, I need to know what days I'm working. And then I also put in there any appointments or things that are kind of set in stone, right? That are very, very day specific. So I start there and then I build from that. I can start to look at what days am I going to be working out. If I'm not working out on the days that I work, then I know the other days that I'm off work is whenever I'm going to be doing a workout. What workouts am I going to do, right? So kind of pre-planning for that and looking at the week as a whole. Then I can start to plan for social media, which you'll see me uh, pull out the other sheet of paper here in just a second. And I start brainstorming what I want to post this week, what I want to post for YouTube and Instagram and then I start to pre-plan those things and start to write those down yes yes my friends I am writing things down multiple times I know to some of you guys you're like that is a waste of time no thank you that's how my brain works I have to hash it out here right by pre-planning this is where I get to get messy this is where I get to scratch things off and it doesn't cause me anxiety because it's in my planner do you know what I mean so here is where I just get to get it all out of my head onto paper and make a mess with it. And then I will transfer these things into my planner so it's neat, organized, clean, and very functional for me. So this is a two-month calendar dry erase calendar system that I keep in my kitchen right beside the door this is where I write everything down I write stuff down my husband does my son does this is kind of like our family you know command center and I use this the, um, those two whiteboards to help me whenever I'm pre-planning so I know what's going on so here on this sheet I had to go back and this is where I made the days off routine because initially I was like I said I was going to work out um, on the days that I worked and I changed my mind for that. So I, I kind of reworked that just a little bit. And then from there, we'll just finish pre plan pre planning. Ugh, I can't talk. We'll finish pre planning for the rest of the week.
wake me from this dream I've been in I need to get in closer to you I swear you might not see Oh baby, I've been waiting for you Now we are one And here's the fun part, picking out stickers. I have some of the new sticker books from the spring release. I didn't order a ton of them because at the time I wasn't like 
planning all the time, but the ones that I did order, I am so excited for. Yes, I know I'm a little hot minute late on things, but I'm just now getting around to using these stickers, and that's okay. I love them. They're super cute. So we're going to go with Wild Plans. I love this sticker book. I In this sticker book, there's like warm tones and then there's cool tones and this spread is pretty much cool tones and yes I sped this up it's gonna be super duper fast but the actual laying down of the stickers is not the point of this video what I what I want to share with you guys in this video is my process for getting myself back on track and starting to reorganize my life and, and basically get my life together right um so decorating it this process will go by quick and then what I'm gonna do is transfer my pre-planned plans into my planner. <laughs> my pre-planned plans into my planner. That's a tongue twister. Wow. Okay. So stickers down and then I'll take the sheet where I pre-planned everything. Again, I know some of you guys are panicking right now because you're like, why are you rewriting everything multiple times? Again, this is how my brain works. You do not, you do not have to do things this way. Do whatever works for you. Whatever helps you get your life on track, go for it. I'm just sharing what I do and what works for me, okay? We all have different processes and that's okay. These little sticker book accessory booklets, I don't really know what these things are called. Um, P.S. really quickly, in case you didn't know, if you're new here, all of my planner supplies are from the Happy Planner minus my fitness planner right now. It's a custom planner from Plum Paper, but everything else stickers, these stickers here, that's all from the Happy Planner. But these little like flippy round sticker books, there's a name for them. I know you guys are going to tell me in the comments. I'm sorry. I don't have it together. Again, we've already discussed that, <laughs> but um, I love these little books. I'm so excited. I When I was going through their spring release and I seen these, I was like, yes, this is like perfect. Um, these will slip right into this cover that I have on my mini planner. Like, I just love them. So excited. I'm probably going to be using them a lot. So be prepared to see them in my videos. Here's where I rewrite everything again. <laughs> okay, so transferring those pre-planned plans into my planner. I had to say it again. I had to. And I actually cannot believe, I literally, I pinky promise I just did that once and I did not mess it up. I did not re-record this. I'm actually very proud of myself because talking has not been my strong point lately. <laughs> um, anyways, okay. So, on the days... Oh, hold on. Let's start with the left sheet that I'm working on right now. So right there where I'm writing in the video, that box right there is just for social media. So I have wrote out Monday through Sunday. And what I will do is write what I'm going to post each day of the week there for Instagram and what videos are going to go up on YouTube. The, oh, we flipped. Okay, let's just, let's just talk about the left page first. I'm, you're going to see me go back and forth, but that's going to get confusing. So let's just talk about the left page. So left page, top left box is social media. Left page, top right box is a general to-do list. These are things that can be done any day during the week. It's not day specific, right? Um, the left box, left side, as you've seen, I just kind of decorated that a little bit. Didn't need to put anything there, so I just stuck stickers down to make it cute. And then the left side, bottom right box, where those two flags are that I'm writing down now, that's actually where I wrote out my morning and evening routine. And I will probably do this inside of my planner for a few weeks until I get that routine down, right? And you guys, I suck at getting up early in the mornings. Let me just tell you, I am not a morning person. I don't like it, but man, I am so much more productive when I get my butt up in the morning. So I'm going to work hard towards getting up early. So that needs to be my focus. So wrote out morning and evening routine. Then I also added this little sticker and this one says no phone in the morning or evening. Because again, I struggle with that. Going down that rabbit hole of being on my phone for hours and ruining my day with people's drama first thing in the morning. So when I get up in the mornings and I, I shut my alarm off, I'm going to leave my phone in the bathroom. So I actually plug my phone in in the bathroom at nights and I'm going to leave it in there and not touch it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I've got... Um, 
everything transferred onto that page. This is a quick little to-do list that I'm going to make for Monday because I had some other things that I wanted to write down for Monday that I didn't get done on Sunday that I had plans of doing. So I just wanted to show you guys that sometimes I have to create additional checklists, especially whenever you're in the mini happy planner because it is smaller. But back to the actual planner spread, the days of the week that are on the right page, that's where I write down day specific tasks. This is also where my work schedule goes, any appointments we have, anything that we have going on goes on to the right side. My to-do list for Monday says it has the top four priorities for the day. So work out, prep for work, take photos, and edit videos. And then under the don't forget, I had started to write out that I needed to film the cleaning and or organizing video that will go up next week. And then I also wanted to make a reel uh, for next week for Instagram. So I just wrote those things out so I would have those ready to go. me from this tree I've been in. I need to get in closer to you. I swear you might but see. Oh, baby. And last but certainly not least, we are going to hop into my fitness planner. Normally I don't add stickers to this, but I decided to add one sticker into this planner. Um, but this one is a custom planner that I designed through Plum Paper. You guys can design planners through them. I think that that's really cool. Um, I like this planner a lot. I like the paper. I like the quality of it. The only thing I'm not a fan of is that it's coil bound and not disc bound. But when you've been with the Happy Planner for years, you get spoiled by the discs where you're able to take things out and put things in. Um, now they do have some accessories that are already punched for the coils. So that's a plus. And I'm sure that they'll be coming out with more things in the future. But I do like this planner. Okay, so anyways, I started to write down um, my goals for Monday. And then I put the sticker at the top, which you'll see me in just a second, did a little bit of sticker surgery so it would fit. And then on the right page, you'll see me do that in just a second, but on the right page, I have my main goal for the week, which is to focus on my morning and evening routine. And then I set up my habit tracker. And on my habit tracker, I'm gonna be tracking exercise. If I did or didn't drink 100 ounces of water each day, if I did or didn't track my nutrition and my morning and evening routine. I want to see if I'm keeping up with those habits. And so that was quick and simple with my fitness planner. It is set up and ready to go. Okay friends, that's my process for getting my life back together and on track. This is how I pull my wagon out of the ditch so I can start driving it again. <laughs> okay, here's to a productive week for both me and for you. Go chase your dreams. You deserve them. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.